Hey, what is happening, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Today was Amazon Prime Day. We're just going to talk and wrap a little bit about that. Uh, as far as what we have today, we're talking about Amazon going down today, uh, Bernie Sanders ranting about Amazon, and actually some wise words from Jeff Bezos, kind of a good message that I, I saw quoted in an article. And I'm not really a huge fan of Jeff Bezos, but I, I like this one comment he made. So uh, for those of you guys who went on Amazon today, whether it be to buy something on Amazon Prime Day, try to take advantage of a sale, those of you guys who tried to access your Amazon FBA account or access your Prime account, if you're experienced with anything like mine, you saw a lot of dogs today. Pretty much every time I logged onto Amazon, um, I saw a cute Labrador, or I saw this cute Chihuahua named Maddie, or I saw this cute Corgi named Corgan, or I saw this cute Maltese named Soju, or I saw this Australian cattle dog named Shadow. Or I saw this full-size poodle named Jaja, and if I had continued searching, I probably would have seen a whole lot more dogs. I, I thought I was on Pinterest today when I went on Amazon. So it seems that Amazon Prime was crashing, or I, I should say Amazon.com was, was crashing all day today. Plenty of articles, a lot of people ranting about it on Twitter. Uh, I guess this could mean one of two things. Either Amazon had such a successful day uh, today that they couldn't handle all of the traffic, um, or their site was just kind of crapping out today and uh, they missed out on a lot of business. But either way, not the best day for uh, for Amazon today on, on that front. I actually um, was trying to access my Amazon Merch account earlier today and I think I was already logged into Amazon. And typically when you go to uh, merch.amazon.com and click sign in, it will uh, just automatically log you in. And I got taken to a 404 page and at first I was kind of freaking out. Is there problems with my Amazon uh, it, my Amazon Merch account, was it shut down? And then I kind of quickly realized that this is kind of a site-wide problem for Amazon. Um, so yeah, problems there. I uh, saw this article today. Bernie Sanders calls out Jeff Bezos' enormous wealth and Amazon's working conditions. The typical Amazon worker made less than $30,000 in 2017. And uh, I'm not a huge Bernie Sanders fan, and I don't think you guys should be either if you are business people or entrepreneurs. Pretty much all his views go against people working hard and getting ahead and are more for socialism and equalness. But he kind of rants about uh, Jeff Bezos makes so much money and the Amazon Prime worker or the Amazon worker doesn't. Um, Jeff Bezos wealth is increasing by $275 million a, way, a day and Amazon workers are afraid to take bathroom breaks. He says, I stand with the Amazon workers fighting for decent working conditions and a living wage on Prime Day. While Jeff Bezos' wealth increases by $275 million per day, Amazon workers are afraid to take bathroom breaks. And I, I think there is a lot of truth and a lot of stuff to think about here. Amazon does kind of treat their workers pretty shitty. Um, I don't really like how cities kind of fall all over themselves to bring Amazon in as if they're offering all these great high paying jobs when in reality it's not great working conditions. Amazon tends not to pay like local taxes and get a lot of breaks. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. There was one thing that I saw that Jeff Bezos was quoted as saying, kind of unrelated to this article, but that I kind of liked. Um, let's see here. Bezos, meanwhile, so much money. Excellent pubs. Uh, okay, so I guess at a, during a recent speech, Bezos said this work-life harmony is what I try to teach young employees and actually senior executives at Amazon too, but especially people coming in, Bezos said. I get asked about work-life balance all the time, and my view is that it's a debilitating phrase because it implies there's a strict trade-off. And the reality is, if I am happy at home, I come into the office with tremendous energy, he said, and if I'm happy at work, I come in... I come home with tremendous energy. It's It actually is a circle. It's not a balance. And I think that is worth everybody paying attention to. Uh, you never want to be that guy. We all have a coworker who's the person who, as soon as they come in a meeting, they drain all the energy out of the room. But uh, the one thing I like about that is just the idea of work-life harmony. A lot of times, you know, entrepreneurship, it's... It, it's more of a lifestyle than it is a job, and, and you're kind of always on the clock. Uh, so it helps to be able to kind of enjoy what you're doing and kind of find enjoyment in that. And I, I thought that was kind of a good message. I think that really kind of goes along with finding a way to monetize your hobbies and interests and make money off things that you enjoy doing. That's kind of completely unrelated to, to this article, but uh, Bernie Sanders was kind of calling out Jeff Bezos today. Um, so that was just kind of the uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about with, uh, with uh, Amazon. But uh, curious to hear how your guys' Amazon Prime days were, either as shoppers, did you find any cool sales, um, what was the best sale you saw, and also those of you guys who are sellers on Amazon Merch, how were your numbers today? Uh, I noticed Amazon FBA sales were fantastic, uh, Amazon Merch sales weren't through the roof, but it definitely was a good day today. 
Um, so yeah, that was mine. Let me know how your guys' day was. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and we will catch you on the next video.